Are you looking to jumpstart your career or make a big change in your professional life? From court reporting to broadcast captioning, the Stenotype Institute of Jacksonville can help you point you in the right direction. And they say it's way. one of the best learning institutions right here on the First Coast. And Thelma, Gib Thelma Gibson is here to tell us how easy it is to get started. Thank you so much, Thelma, for being here. We Thank appreciate you your time. So for those who might not know at home, tell us a little bit about the Stenotype Institute. The Stenotype Institute is a local school. We've been here since 1940, so we have over 70 years experience not only training court reporters, but assisting them in finding their position once they're done. Are there any special requirements? I mean, do they have to have some kind of pre-training? Had they have already had to have gone through some kind of college or anything no, like Nick, that? No, Nick, we take them right out of high school or with a GED all the way up. I've had students with master's degrees. What they do need is a standard high school diploma or GED for admissions, and then the desire to get into a career field that they would love. It's a noble position. They make great money but they have to have a lot of dedication to master this skill. That says a lot, just what you said right there yes. about people coming in with their master's degrees, obviously not in stenotype right. or in court reporting, but yet they're coming in to get a great earning potential with you guys. With our economy these yeah. days, a lot of people aren't finding jobs with their degrees, and this is a career that is in demand. So what are the options for students as far as wanting to pay for this training? Well, that's a good question. A lot of people want to know that. We are accredited. We're recognized by the U.S. Department of Education, and what that means is our students can fill out the application with the federal government for Pell Grants and student loans, just like going to any other college. Are they only working in the courtroom, or is there a chance for them to work outside as well? When we think about court reporters, we think about that one in the courtroom, but that's only a little bit about what they do. Most of our graduates and most court reporters are freelancing. That means they're not stuck to an 8 to 5 Monday through Friday. They go to an attorney's office, take a pretrial deposition, can be an average of six hours. They may be done by noon and on their way home. Oh. So let's talk about, I'm sure a lot of people out there would like to know the answer to this question. Yes. What is the income potential for, for doing this? I like to quote the National Court Reporters Association, and they say the national average is $62,000 per year. I can tell you I have graduates that are earning that and upwards. It's really unlimited. When you're freelancing, you're based on how many pages you write. So if you want to work five or six days a week and the demand is there, write your own paycheck. So you can kind of judge how, how much you want to. So you go through an agency and you can work a couple days a week if you want. Correct. Or you could work six days, seven days, yes, as, you could. as much as you want to. A lot of independence and flexibility. So what are some of the higher ends that, that people are making? Oh, gosh. If I work six days a week, <laughs> what's my earning potential? What if I said over 100000 a year? It nice. is possible. Yeah, you just got to yes. have the hard work, the work ethic, and yeah. put the time in. Definitely work ethic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and how about finding jobs for these graduates? Do you, do you help, help with that? Or Absolutely where, where, yeah. we do. Uh, we have a great reputation. We've been here forever. And we have good relationships with the court reporting firms. They are calling our school. Hey, we need reporters. We want your graduates. So we have really run about a 95% average assistance rate uh, for the last 10 years. Some years it's as high as 100%. The jobs are there. Well, let me ask you this. If somebody is here, and obviously you have your schools here in Jacksonville. Yes, we do. And they want to go to school here, but let's just say they want to, you know, they're 22 years old and they want to explore a little bit. They want to live somewhere else. Are there job, a lot of job availabilities out there yes, in the sir, U.S. Absolutely. or is it even beyond? It's beyond. In the U.S., anywhere there's a courtroom or there's an attorney or there's crime going on, they're going to need court reporters where there's a lawyer. So demand is everywhere. So if someone's watching right now and they're interested, what would you recommend the best way to start? How do they initiate this? The best way is what I call explore court reporting. You don't know how it's done. It's not a typewriter. I'd like to invite you to come into the school, take a tour, see our small facility, the individual attention you get, get on the machine and understand why this takes the training that it takes. So pick up the phone and call us. Set a time or just stop by. We're there from 8 a.m. till 7 p.m. Monday through Thursdays. Now, I gotta ask you this. Is, okay. it, is it difficult? Because when I look at, you know, like literally, they, they're usually looking forward exactly. and they're just listening and they're just like, to me, it's, and there's not a lot of keys, so it's no, not like a typewriter. Are. Not is this at all. a difficult thing to learn? Well, it is difficult. It's like a foreign language. Um, and it's also like playing a musical instrument. So you want to train your fingers to have memory that when I hear a word, I hear sounds, I press several keys at one time and oh. write words or write whole sentences with one stroke. 
That's how they go so fast. So it actually types out words. Yes, I mean, words does. that we can we can literally read. Yes, it's it not does. like some shorthand well, language. Well, shorthand or language I'm putting in, on the keys. and then the computer prints out the words. It does ah. and transcribes it into English. And so no just idea. like closed captioning is done on television. Yeah. So it's a skill that will translate into a lot of opportunity because I'm sure absolutely. there's not a ton of people that have developed this skill. That is absolutely true. Okay. So what do you think the best ways to call if somebody wants to try to get information? Is yes, that, I yep. would say call this week. We've okay. got classes starting in July. Come in, see if it's for you, talk with financial aid, and it may really change your life. Very cool. And where are you located? Thanks. We're on the corner of Phillips Highway and Emerson here in Jacksonville. We also have a second campus in Orlando. Okay. Well, Can I ask you something? Yes. If, just in case, if somebody is outside for a job. the 50 mile <laughs> radius of, of your area, can we go? Great question. We, we do, do have an online, online program. Okay. If you're here, we want you Come on in. campus. Right. Yeah. But for those, and we do state or nationwide, I have students online learning this at home in the evenings. Yeah. Just takes a little bit longer and a little bit more discipline. Yeah. Very well, cool. best thing to do, call the number on your screen, Absolutely. come stop by, see what it's all about, and yes. unlimited earning potential. Thanks so much, Thelma. You can make 62000 a year. Unless you want to work here. hard, you can make 100. That's, That's right. right. Thank That's you for being here. Yep, if you would <laughs> if like, like more information, <laughs> uh, you want to enroll in classes, just give them a call at 904-398-4141. Classes begin July 1st. Yep.